Hi you guys, this is for Leo, September 2020. I uh, will start off with a song or a quote. You have Drake in my feelings. I don't know if you're dealing with the Libra. They got this last month. For the bird card, you have the bald eagle. And it says, from a strong foundation, you may build anything. Fortune card, you have cake, marriage. And you have hierarchy. Which speaks of established belief, tradition, gradual progression, ascension, ambition, and secrets. So, secrets could be the in my feelings, the established belief and tradition could be the cake marriage, and with the ego, I see ascension. So, whoever had the power, the tables have turned. Let's get some tarot cards for Leo, September 2020. Tell me about Leo, September 2020, please. This is a new deck, so we're going to be learning it together. Where's Leo at right now? The Page of Swords. So it could be communication. It could be stalking. Somebody's watching somebody. Their social media could be going by their house. Um... That might be where the secrets comes in also. Let me read the cake card. The cake is a symbol of marriage and weddings. When this card is drawn, there is a need to concentrate and put energy into your marriage. It can also signify the attendance at a wedding or making plans for your own wedding. And the eagle card. Eagle has world into your cards. She speaks to you not of power, but of the foundation on which it is built. The foundation from which she came and which she in turn will give to her chicks. Is a great nest which may stretch upward to 20 feet and reach nine feet wide, a nest that any chick will feel safe in. She counsels that you two prepare diligently for the challenges ahead and provide them for others and provide them for others that you love. For from secure beginnings, everything is possible. Is there something about um Kind of like leaving a legacy. Legacy. I don't know if you have a child that's a air sign. Uh, what's going on in Leo's head? Eight of Wands, communication. What is going on around Leo and their foundation? The Hierophant, also dealing with marriage. In the past, Seven of Swords. And again, here we go with a bird and a nest. So in the past, the Seven of Swords in the future for Leo, Nine of Swords. So we go from dishonesty to angst. Oh, Leo, what's going on? So, let me just make sure I read what I'm telling you. No, that's not. 
glad I checked. Oh, it might be. Looking at the wrong thing. Yes, it is. Um, cunning, naivete, foolish, trust, foolish, trust, cleverness, seduction, tricks. And for the future, nightmares, guilt, irrational fear, shame, terror, misery, hatred, despair, suffering. We repress, project, regress. We punish ourselves or others. In short, we display all the typical defense mechanisms of a deeply wounded psych. If we pull this card, the message is difficult, but we cannot sidestep our fear, shame, or misery. Something to do with feelings. Maybe. Let me go back to the Seven of Swords. Uh, if we let illusions. If we let illusions get in the way of our rational mind, we find ourselves deceived. This card cuts both ways. It may either mean that we snare ourselves and our own little devious lies and plots, or that others are out to mislead us. So in the past, you either did it to yourself, or you felt somebody was trying to, to deceive you. And now, there's some sh maybe you feel shameful because someone did deceive you. But let's get some clarifiers. For the daughter of Page of Swords, what's this about? Judgment for the Eight of Wands. What's this communication about? Justice. So there's some divine timing going on here. For the Hierophant, what's this about? Five of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords, what's this about? Queen of Swords. And for the Nine of Swords, what is this about? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, somebody's watching and waiting for a re reconciliation, hoping somebody makes a fair decision or communicates about some kind of legal matter. Maybe that's the marriage, if there's going to be one. Uh, the Five of Swords in reverse. Failure to recognize the destructiveness of one's ideas. So maybe pausing on the marriage and building a stronger foundation. For the Seven of Swords, you got the Queen of Swords. Not talking to somebody. Um, and that could be where the dishonesty comes from. I don't know if you're doing it to yourself or not speaking to them because they're dishonest. And then the Nine of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Self-pity, fatalism, pessimism. So if this continues, you're just going to get this back. The angst, the nightmares, the insomnia, the excessive worry. It's going to be a repeating cycle. Somebody feels defeated. Uh, that's two fives also. Two fives speaks of vigils. So somebody's staying all night, staying up all night, paying homage to the situation and doesn't realize that they are the one manifesting it 
continually repeating in the same pattern. Uh, let's get some clarification for this one. Can you tell me more about this? What should Leo do? You've got the tower. Let it crumble. Let it come crashing down. It's all about ego right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I would say to let whatever this is uh, fall apart, crumble, die to be transformed into something new. Can I have some advice for Leo, please? 